cost of sequencing has been dropping at this incredible rate over the last 15 years. It now really becomes possible to start thinking of these tests uh, and this technology is something that you can do for a very large population and make accessible to a large number of people. Five to ten years ago, people were doing this test by hand. So it would be a process of many, many days going from a vial of blood to a drop of clear fluid ready to go onto a DNA sequencer. We've reduced that time um, by about half with the system that we have behind us, and we do it without human intervention. So historically, tests like this used to cost over $4,000, and the color tests launched at $250. And the majority of this difference is accounted for by reducing the amount of manual labor that is involved in running these tests, as well as creating a highly automated process that allows us to have a very high yield in our lab. We run thousands of patient samples a day. The system runs 24-7. We've reduced manual interactions by about 90%. We've cut turnaround time in half um, versus traditional methods. And it takes up about a quarter of the space that you typically find in order to run this sort of throughput of clinical genetics. Genetics and genomics um, at scale is really just the moving of lots of tiny bits of fluid around incredibly precisely. Um, that's actually really hard to do. What we see behind us is that on steroids, many thousands of these operations of moving tiny bits of fluid around incredibly precisely. While no test will ever be completely error proof, tests run by robots are the closest thing that we're ever going to get. We use a number of the state-of-the-art components uh, throughout our lab, including Hamilton Robotics, Illumina sequencers. Uh, but what we've done is that we have written software that integrates with all these systems in order to make them work at a scale and with an efficiency that um, I don't think many other places have. The amount of capital expenditure to build something like this is, is well into the millions of dollars. On the flip side, of course, it has the capability of running many hundreds of thousands of patient samples a year. The technology that we've developed is, is really designed for all molecular diagnostics, not just the products that we as a company run on it. So you can imagine there has been interest from other companies about using the platform that we've developed to run their own products. And those are you know, interesting opportunities for us to explore. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.